Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you wherever you are getting me from. And you know that there is power in the words that we speak under the inspiration of the Spirit of God. There is power in the prophetic. There is power in declarations. There is power when we decree. There is power when we speak forth what we believe in. Power in the words that we speak. And uh, any time when we come for Prophetic Monday, we come to address the weak and uh, speak over the weak, bless the weak, address the weak, tell the weak to be nice to us, tell the demons and the evil spirits that they must allow us to be blessed this week. We come to claim all the delayed blessings, not only blessings that we expected last week, but blessings that uh, we have been expecting for quite some time. And when we claim them, we believe that God will give them to us. And this has been working for us and that is why we do it every time. Whenever you see us doing it repeatedly, it is because it works for us. If it had not been working for us, we wouldn't be doing it all this repeatedly. One reason we are doing it, sababu moja unaona tunafanya na tunaendelea kukuja hapa kukua na prophetic Monday kukua na, na ibada za online and the reason why we are taking all this time to come and speak to us is because we believe when you release the word of God in the atmosphere it doesn't go unfulfilled neno la Mungu huwa alimrudi bure ukiliachilia kwa anga litatimia tu na unajua Shetani naye huwa anahakikisha hiyo haitendeki. Shetani ako vitani. Na ningetaka niseme hivi leo ikiwa ni siku ya kuweka foundation kwa ajili ya, ya, ya wiki hii. Shetani huwa ana in a manner that unaweza dhani hayuko lakini ako kazini. Wakati anafanya kazi na ame ni kama hayuko the devil acts as if he doesn't exist but he is very much at work sa hiyo anafanya kazi ni kama he doesn't exist he will make the life of a believer appear as if god does not exist unaweza ukatafuna hiyo nikurushie tena the devil is very much at work but he will behave himself as if he doesn't exist when believers are not conscious of the work of the devil and they begin to live as if the devil does not exist the same devil who is working behind the scenes will make the life of believers as if god does not exist but the day you rise because the bible says we should not be ignorant of the wiles of the enemy we should not be ignorant of the tricks of satan the moment you know he is at work and you resist him the bible says resist the devil and he shall flee so on this monday we come to resist every devil of delay every devil of sorrow every devil of bad reports every devil working against our well-being every devil of procrastination there is one devil that all of us must arrest this monday the demon of postponing things something that would have happened last year you are still waiting for it to happen because there are demons that operate that way they postpone things they push them ahead they make sure they don't happen as we expected them to happen i command that devil from wherever he is hiding to get out of the hiding place in the name of Jesus and may that miracle manifest in the name of Jesus Christ 
kuna shetani huwa inafanya kazi kwa kupostpone mambo unapata kitu kingekutendekea kitu kizuri like last week last week last week i i i i, I heard a voice of god speak into my spirit that on that day it shall be done and uh, i began to share with everybody that had engaged me every person that had engaged me to pray for something nikawaambia watch that day watch that day i'm not sure whether it is this that day or this other that day but watch over that day watch over this that day and as i was sharing with people unajua kuna wale watu ambao wana to engage amen kuna wale watu wanani engage wananiambia uh, i am chasing this thing put me in prayers although kuna wengine uogopa kutu engage kwa sababu unaona tutakujua sana na tutatarajia sana my friend usituogope we don't eat people and we can't take anything by force from you on a light note na museme amen kuna wale wataogopa ku engage prophet kwa sababu pia hataki prophet yajue zaidi so unapata kwamba you are expecting some millions from somewhere na ukiengage mtumishi wa Mungu mwenye unaita your prophet ataombea hiyo kitu ili ifanikiwe lakini shetani anakuja anakuambia hii kitu itafanikiwa tu even without the prophet si lazima si lazima we involve your prophet na ningetaka nikwambie hivi mkristo naye nisikia some of these deals that utasikia unataka kuinvolve mtu wa Mungu akuombe then kuna kuwa na friction maana shetani huwa anakuja anakuhubiria na unajua shetani akihubiri anatumianga mawazo yako tu shetani si mjinga asimame hapo kando yako na akwambie wewe usiseme hiyo kitu hapana shetani huwa ana assume your thought system na utaona ni kama you are using your wisdom and your reasoning ukitumia wisdom na kumbe sio wisdom ya Mungu maana hata Biblia inaongea kuhusu the wisdom of this world the wisdom of the devil and the wisdom of god the bible differentiates between the wisdom of god wisdom ya kimwanadamu na wisdom ya ulimwengu wisdom ya kipepo Mungu atusaidie sasa unakaa hapo unasema ama niambie pastor niombe hii kitu shetani ana, anatumia mawazo yako anakuuliza kila kitu utakuwa unaambia mtumishi wa Mungu hii relationship wacha iendeende kidogo alafu nita nitaambia mtumishi aniombe shetani anakuambia hapana hata ikiendeenda usimwambie sasa unapata kanisani as pastors we minister to people who have gone through a lot people suffer people go through a lot na ule shetani wa kupostpone baraka zao analeta kitu kinaitwa communication breakdown. Communication breakdown ni ile ro ya kuharibu mawasiliano with the right people. Kwa hivyo una, unataka kumwambia kwa sauti kanakuuliza utaandianga pasta kila kitu. Kwa sauti kingine kanakuambia ni shetani bado kanakuambia wewe ngoja hii kitu iive utaenda ku surprise pasta na fungu la kumi kumbe ni surprise haitawahi fanyika kasa tukingine kana kuuliza kwani kila kitu lazima uambie pasta kwani ni bwana yako hii kitu wewe tulia tu nyonga kidogo ikiivana mtamwambia many people have been frustrated na ukikuja kumuuliza hii kitu mbona huko niambia anakuambia uh, ndio nilikuwa sasa nakuja kukuambia yani anakuambia yani ni ndio no kite <laughs> anakwambia ndio nilikuwa ninakuja kukuambia hivyo ndivyo shetani ufanya kazi he acts as if he is not the one he is not anywhere in the scene so that your life may appear as if god does not exist kwa sababu ataleta kitu kinaitwa procrastination this monday I destroy every spirit of procrastination. The act of procrastinating is the act of postponing. After postponement you postpone again. Unaishi ukisema nita nita let me see, let, let's do it next week next month next now the more you postponing the more this, this that thing will never happen. I want to speak by the wisdom of God. 
ya kwamba kuna vitu ingekutendekea vitu mzuri there are places where you could have been there is a level ya ki relationship ya ki ya kindoa ya kimapato ya ungekuwa ushaingia but the spirit of postponing the demon of postponement yani inakujanga tu mtu anakuambia wacha tuone next week hiyo pesa ingeingia kwa account mimi apostle james kithia ninatabiri hiyo pesa itaingia kwa account before the end of this week in the name of jesus haiwezekani ilikuwa iingie last week haikuingia ilikuwa iingie last month haikuingia shetani atataka isukume walikwambia we should do it before election election zikafika wakawambia hey now election zimeingia let us do it after the election election zikafanyika after election kukaendwa supreme court wakawambia hey hii mambo ya supreme court wacha after supreme court we shall tutafanya so, uh, immediately after supreme court kwanza president alipokuwa sworn in the first thing aliamurisha pesa zenye zimekwama kwama huku na kule ziachiliwe na bado katika ulimwengu wa rohoni kwa sababu kuna ile roho imeshikilia unaona wanakuambia we are doing it now i am praying already na Mungu mimi usikia maombi yangu and i am praying already somebody you better flow with my prayer mimi i am sibahatishi ninajua ya kwamba ninaomba na Mungu anasikia na nikitabiri si lazima ni threaten ama nianguke chini na nimwage mate na nitoe pofu na na nikutishie i am already prophesying before the end of this week that deal will go through before the end of this week that transaction will be accomplished before the end of this week it shall be done ninakemea hiyo postponement ninakemea hiyo kuhairishwa ya kipepo walikwambia monday wakaipeleka thursday wakaipeleka mimi ninaomba kwanza ninapeana deadline before thursday something must happen before thursday a financial door must open before thursday it shall happen it shall happen it shall happen in the name of jesus lekata maria radu zaduka balasha baba atuwezi ishi ni wacha tuone tutaona mpaka lini it is now or now it is this week or this week it is this week or this week na kama sio mwezi huu ni mwezi huu na kama sio wiki hii ni wiki hii na kama sio leo ni leo it cannot be any other time somebody must get tired of this thing of next well let's see let's try again let's try. shetani anachezanga hiyo mchezo hii game ya kupostpone shetani anaipelekanga hata kwa wale wanatafuta uzao wa tumbo unatafutia ile sako ikifika mnajua tunastahili tutafutia hapa mwivo tu kana kinapitana sijui kunaenda na mna gani mnasema let us try next month next month sako imefika unajua Mungu ameumba wanawake wako na sako si kama wanaume wanakoanga ready 24/7 wanawake wako na sako of fertility na hivyo shetani anajua kucheza na hiyo sako of fertility na nitaongea kidogo kuhusu hiyo sako na si sana kuhusu wanawake lakini nitakwambia chenye naongelelea kuna katika maisha na hii ni kitu mnajua wadada wale mnanisikiliza there, there is biologically there is what we call the circle of fertility the the, the 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 days when things can happen and the days when nothing can happen there are not every day a woman can conceive there are those set days ambapo hapo mimba itaingia na wale wanatafuta the fruit of the womb na wameona imekuwa ngumu wanaweza nielewa vizuri wale amejawahi kuwa challenged na kutafuta the fruit of the womb maybe this may not make a lot of sense but wale wamewahi tafuta ukajitimu vizuri ukapimwa uka kila kitu ukaenda kwa daktari ukaambiwa you are okay you, 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 mayai iko sawa wakapima mzee wako wakaona mko sawa lakini mnapata ya kwamba eh, kupata mimba imekuwa ngumu hao ndio watu wanaweza kunielewa na kuna shetani inaingililianga hapo wakati imefika ni save days um, uh, not save days the ripe days ambazo unastahili sasa kupata ujauzito hiyo siku inakupata hamuko pamoja 
hiyo siku inapata amuna morali ya kufanya hiyo maneno hiyo siku mnakosana hiyo siku hiyo 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 yenye ungeguza kingeumana shetani akiona hapa haya limeshuka litakutana na mbegu ya mwanaume anahakikisha hiyo siku mmekosana ama hiyo siku mzee ni mgonjwa ama hiyo siku mama ni mgonjwa ama kitu kingine kinatokea matanga harusi kitu tu kenye kinakuhamisha kikutoe the the place of your divine visitation kina kinakupeleka kuingine ama mnakosana tu yani amwezi mkaelewana mnataka kufanya hiyo timing lakini mnapitana mnaweza kosania pesa mnaweza kosania in-laws mnaweza kosania kazini mnaweza kosania kufika late mnaweza kosania suspicion hivyo tu mlikuwa mnaongea na nani na muna, na inakuwa ni shida na inakuwa ni shida mpaka ile ile project mlikuwa nayo siku hiyo hiyo project haitafanyika na unapata watu wengi wale wanatafuta the fruit of the womb na imekuwa challenge na pia hiyo nimeiona kwa wale watu wanatafuta a certain gender na sana sana wale wanatafuta kijana unaona mtu anapata wasichana kwa uraisi lakini kupata kijana inakuwa ni ngumu na nilikuwa ninaombea hiyo kitu kwa sababu niko na watu wengi sana unajua mimi ni pastor wa watu wengi wako na hiyo bato ya kutafuta kijana na nimekuwa nikifanya spiritual mapping ya kutaka kujua kwa nini mtu apate wasichana kwa uraisi na akipata mimba ya kijana inaleta mashetani aida hiyo mimba inaharibika ama inamwagika ama anagoncheka kisirani inatokea ama akizaa huyo kijana anakufa lakini mimba za wasichana zinaenda vizuri ila mimba ya kijana inaleta shida niko na watu kadhaa nimekuwa nikifight hiyo battle na wao waweze kusaidika na nikapata revelation in fact hii ndio revelation Mungu alinipatia ya kwamba kuna kuanga na madhabau imejificha na hii inakuanga ni madhabau ya family na mostly inakuanga ni madhabau iko kwa mtu very immediate either your parents or your in-laws inakuanga ni madhabau iko either kwa your direct parents ama iko kwa your in-laws na inakuanga ni mtu aujakubalika katika hiyo familia in most cases inakuanga ni madhabau inapigana na huyo msichana huyo mudada ina fight hiyo mudada na utaweza pata ni mahali umeolewa the father in law ama mother in law ajakukubali aja, aja kukubali ama kuna covenant imefunga huyu bwana yako asikuwe na mbegu ya kiume na hiyo covenant yenye iko na baba na sasa amekufunga usikuwe na uzao na we wa kiume kama ni wasichana ni sawa waolewe waende na huko lakini wewe na mbegu ya kukaa hapo kijana unajua vijana ndio wanasimamishanga jina ya baba sasa inakuwa hiyo covenant ni ya kufight hiyo jina ya urithi hiyo ama urithi wa jina so unapata ukipata mimba ya kijana hiyo maro zinaamuka zinaua kijana lakini ukipata msichana zinaweza achana na yeye hii kitu imeifanyika wakati wa farao na wakasema ukiona mtu ama farao aliita wakunga akawaambia wakunga walikuwa wanaitwa kina shifra na mwingine alikuwa anaitwa pua inyu akaambia shifra na pua ukiona wao wa mama wa, wa, wa Israeli wanazaa kijana nyonga ukiona wanazaa wakiwa wajawazito siku ya kuzaa imefika ukiona wanazaa msichana wacha wazae msichana kwa sababu target ilikuwa as they kill the male seed wata eliminate hata Moses katika hiyo process so shetani anakuanga ame sense utaleta begu ya kuvunja maagano fulani katika that family tree na akiona hii begu itakuja kubadilisha hiyo kitu na huyo mtu atakuwa free listen and listen very well some of our achievements azikuangi azifikangi mpaka watoto wetu wafanikiwe kuna watu waliona mama wa our president wakati wa bombers huyo mama alifika bombers wakati wa wa swearing wa, wa kuapishwa huyo mama alifika kasarani nataka niwaambieni kitu yule mtu ameona maana ya kuishi 
hata sio our president William Samoei Ruto ule mtu ako na maneno ya kuambia Mungu ni mama yake yani mimi nilibeba kwa hii tumbo yao na hiyo beku yenye nilibeba mtoto amekuja kukua the president of the republic of Kenya huyo mama lazima maombi yake mbele za Mungu yani anaomba analia na si, ni mama tu wa anybody who makes it in this life yule mtu anaonanga baraka ni huyo mzazi yani kuna breakthrough hazikamilikangi mpaka watoto wetu wafanikiwe until our children are blessed and they make it in life ndio sasa tunapata hiyo freedom kamili sometimes when our children are not making it whether in school ama hata kufaulu kuwakanyangisha chini inakuanga ni bondage yetu ina manifest kwa watoto kwamba we don't qualify to bring forth we don't qualify kunyonyesha we don't qualify kupeleka shule we don't qualify mtoto wetu aendeshe gari na atubebe but kuna level inafikanga because chains have broken unapata inaenda mpaka kwa watoto ukiwa umekaa hivi unaona mtoto wako anabarikiwa anakuwa mtu anako na pesa anakuwa mtu ako na baraka anakuwa mtumishi wa Mungu those are the blessings we are talking about lakini kuna kipepo hiki cha ku, cha, ku, cha kujenga cha kuchenga wakati hiyo mimba ingeingia leo mnakosana nilikuwa kwa hiyo point before network ingiwa na mashetani wakati mimba ingeingia mnakosana wakati mimba ingeingia unapigwa transfer wakati mimba ingeingia mzee ana morali wakati mimba ingeingia mama anagojeka wakati mimba ingeingia kisira nyingine inatokea ama era inatokea ama ile dawa uliambiwa ukunywe unakunywa mingi ama unakunywa kidogo ama unasahau kumeza mnaanza kulaumiana yani hivyo tu ama kisirani inatokea nyumbani unapata mama mko apendi bibi yako kabisa amupendi na amupendi na ukimuuliza mama mke wangu alikukosea nini anakwambia mimi hata sinanga na yeye wewe unalanga nikiwa na shida na mke wako she is your wife lakini kwa roho yake anaona anaweza akamtafuna na neno wengine huwa wanabadilishiwa laini unapata kama wewe ni unashiriki kwa hii kanisa kuna kuna watu ambao wanakuanga na hiyo challenge niko kwa pepo ya kupostpone na kuhakikisha hiyo baraka ulikuwa unataka kupata hii demon huwa inahakikisha uwezi kupata hiyo baraka hiyo pepo ishindwe na ipotee katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai la tukaya nada la zote katari baba narudia tena nasema hiyo demon ishindwe na irejee katika jina la Yesu Kristo kuna mapepo huwa ina hapa inasema ya kwamba wewe si kuna mstari inasema ya kwamba mtu huyu ana watoto eh? mtu huyu ana watoto na hakuna mtu kutoka kwa wazao wake atakaye kalia kiti cha Daudi wakati umetamukiwa kipepo kama kilaana kama hicho this is what will happen utaenda kwa pasta unaenda mostly watu wanakujanga kwa pastors wakati vitu haviendi vizuri unaenda kwa pasta mnaweka agreement fulani man of god pray for me nimekuwa nikiongojea hii nimeapply huku nimeongojea pale things have not worked as i expected please man of god pray with me mtu wa mungu kama ni mimi nitakuuliza uh, wakati mungu atakutendea uh, are you able kuweka nadhiri utatoa fungu la kumi. <laughs> Unasikia pasta. Mimi Mungu anifungulie mlango. What is tithe? Nitaleta. Si ni fungu la kumi. Nitaleta pasta out. Wendeleza au pasta siuombe. Unajua kuna kitu wa Kristo huwa hawajui. Wakati Mungu amekudirect kwa a certain man of God na nataka ujue ya kwamba hii Kenya iko na thousands and thousands of men of God genuine fake mixture wote don't judge Mungu mwenyewe atajudge Paulo alisema injili iendelee crusade inaweza itwa ya pastors wakajaza stadium if all pastors are commanded to go for a single meeting watajaza stadium stadium ijaye wachungaji mimi ndio nakwambia 
lakini Mungu anakupeleka kwa mmoja wale wote unajua unaenda mnakaa kwa meza mnaingia kwa agreement ule pasta anakushika mikono anakuombea analia na wewe anabeba hiyo uzito na wewe anakwambia it shall be well akikuombea milango yako inaanza kufunguka kuna shetani huwa inakuja hiyo shetani itakuonyesha other pastors who did not labor with you mtoto akizaliwa hawezi kukua na DNA ya wababa wawili DNA wa ina point only one father kuna kitu wa Kristo hamjui any time god does a miracle for you if that miracle could be diagonized ijulikane ni ya DNA ya nani haiwezi ikakuwa ni ya huyu pasta na huyu pasta na huyu pasta never Mungu anahakikishanga hiyo kitu ameleta na hiyo lineage imetokea kwa huyu ikakuja kutokea kwako because god is not the author of confusion the devil speaks na akiona umeamini kwa pasta anakuja anakwambia usiweke roho yako yote kwa pasta mmoja try also this one and this one also hata this one nasikia anatabiringi so unapata au after ule ule muujiza umetokea hauwezi ukaambatanisha huo muujiza na mtu yeyote maana hata wewe ujui ni kama ule mtu anazaanga mtoto na kwa sababu alikuwa wa wanaume wengi hajui huyo mtoto ni wanani haraka hivyo anasema huyu mtoto kama sio wa mtoa ni wa mwangi kama inaweza kuwa ni wa ni wa nani kiprono hapana huyu mtoto huyu mtoto ni kama ni wa wafula ama unyango lakini sioni hakika wa unyango kwa sababu hiyo wiki ulikutana na onyango wafula mutua, kiprono na joroge sasa uji ni wanani wacha nikwambie unajua mimba ni utajua iliingia which day lakini mentalize you do a thorough scanning hiyo wiki tu hiyo wiki tu sasa listen and listen very well if you happen to go for a dna test with all those men The DNA will not pick two or three or four men. The DNA will pick one man, the right father of the child. Even if your breakthroughs na miujiza ufanyika, it doesn't matter how many teachers, how many pastors, how many prophets watakutabiria. Hiyo miracle inakuanga na DNA. Mahali Mungu ameipitisha. Kwa nini Mungu anapitishanga hiyo miracle kwa hiyo laini moja? ninataka nikwambie kwa sababu wakati Mungu alikuunganisha na huyo mtu alikuwa na lengo na that particular person I met one kisi man here in Nairobi wakati tulianza kanisa la Kitengela na this man akanieleza story yake he was driving a very nice car gari baridi na kubwa uh, akaniambia pastor ninataka nikupatie safari yangu ya kufanikiwa na akaniambia kuna mchungaji alikuwa anahubiri usiku kwa milima na yeye akienda ushago miaka ya zamani kidogo anasikia ule pasta anahubiri na honi speaker sasa akauliza watu huyu ni nani anapigia watu makelele akaambiwa kuna pasta huwa anahubiri hiyo masaa akaenda akaingia tu na kutaka kujua pasta ni nani akaenda akamjua akapata ni pasta anangangana ka speaker ka nini ka ka honi speaker na battery akamuuliza pasta ungetaka kukuwa na vyombo nzuri akamwambia mimi naomba ukienda Nairobi uniletee tu speaker na amplifier nipate vyombo mzuri huyu jamaa aka, akaenda akaambia Mungu nataka nibariki huyu mtumishi wako maana nasikia kuna kitu akaenda akamnunulia vyombo simple instruments ambazo that time they costed something like 100000 Unajua saa hii vyombo hizi unaona maspika hizi kubwa kubwa zinaguruma hizi na generator usipokuwa na milioni yako moja kuenda juu hauwezi kupata hizo vyombo. Sasa zamani ukiwa at least na 100,000 uko na kaspika kaspika na nini na kaamplifier. Akaenda akamnunulia huyo pasta akampelekea. Huyo pasta akamwombea akamimina roho yake eh akaweka kila kitu. 
Huyo jamaa aliporudi Nairobi milango yake ilifunguka. Sitaki kuelezea maana alinipea story vile alitajirika kwa biashara ya kuuza maji. But time is not allowing me. Alitajirika ile hakuna. Sasa akaniuliza, "Ninajuana na fulani? Ninajuana na fulani? Akanitajia mapasta na mabishops wa, wa town ya Nairobi. I know so and so. I know so and so. I know so and so." Kwa nini Mungu alitumia huyo pasta wa ushago? Nikamwambia Mungu alitaka ukiinuka uinuke na huyo pasta. Maana milango ya Mungu ni watu. Kwa hivyo wakati umebarikiwa lazima urudi kwa ule pasta. Sasa ulimu, ulimusaidia akapata speaker mzuri, ukabarikiwa zaidi. Sasa rudi kwake, patie yeye hata gari. Muuliza kanisa kama wamenunua kiwanja. Nunua kiwanja. The man has money like takataka. Nunua kiwanja. Peke yako. Don't even call for an arambe. Don't be selfish. Nunua kiwanja peke yako. Rudisha mkono. Onye, onyesha ile. Iyo ndiyo kitu mungu anatarajianga. Haka niuliza. What if I don't do so? Nika muambia. Usipofanya hivyo. Unezaona ukona pesa. Lakini ni pesa uta wa ifraia. Haka za what? Mbia, yes. Unaweza ona uko na pesa lakini hauzifurahi. Unakuwa na pesa, unakakaa kidogo, wanaenda wanakupima ukimwi. Unaanza kuita my boyfriend wako wote ama my girlfriend wako, wewe uliniambukiza, wewe umenichoma. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema nitakemea mwaribifu, sasa mwaribifu hajakemewa. Kuna kitu wa Kristo awajui nitakuja kuwafunza hii kitu. Keeping the covenant with the man that God used to bring light into your life. Wanaambia watu hivi ukicheza na mapasta kama wewe ni elder deacon kama wewe ni deacon elder pastor if you have anything ya kidini as you play with pastors mtu alikuita jina akakuita pasta akakuita uh, chochote katika huduma respect that person respect that person Uyo ni mtu ako na uwezo wa kukumaliza lakini Mungu akusaidia asikumalize akuinue. Mtu alitumika kuleta nuru kwa maisha yako. Shetani analetanga friction ama anakuonyesha sasa wengine wale wako na wa kisasa wale wame anakuambia fulani amevuma bwana twende kwa fulani. Sasa hizo unaanza kuona huyu pasta wako ni kama ana mafuta. Allow me to challenge you. Unaona huyo pasta eh tuseme kama mimi kama unaona nimebarikiwa sijui kama unaona anga nimekiwa nimebarikiwa sana. Unaona huyo pasta unaona anga amebarikiwa sana. Somebody believed in that pasta na wakati huyu mtu alibarikiwa hakuenda kwa wale wameshai alirudi ahakikishe amerudisha nguvu kwa huyo na amerudisha mikono kwa huyo. That is why you can travel to America Nimewahi soma biography ya watumishi wa Mungu mostly the Americans na whites. Yaani utaona mtu akikuonyesha vile alianza huduma. Unajua ni vizuri kusoma historia ya watu. Unasikia mtu anakuambia mimi nilikuwa nasikia tu, nilikuwa naota, ninaweza hubiri, nilikuwa na hiyo mwito. I shared with my wife, we began to pray in the house. Uh, tukaanza kanisa, my wife, the house girl and our children. Aya, after that we prayed for one neighbor that one neighbor akapona that neighbor told another neighbor then that neighbor told another neighbor then all the neighbors came together na wakasema we have been meeting for a fellowship every wednesday now we want to go and meet somewhere on a sunday huyu mmoja akasema ametoa 100000 mwingine akasema i will give 300000 mwingine akasema i will give my car that is how these guys start from there wanasema hii message unatubariki nayo what if we take it on a tv what if we take it on a radio what if we take it online wanauliza how much is it tu, tutengeneze tutengeneze wanaleta gufu pamoja wanaambiana situinue huyu mtu wetu this man of god can be sasa wakati wameamini katika ule mtu wanayampush wakati wanamupush baraka zinarudi kwao wakati baraka zinarudi kwao they bring more people then wanajenga wanajenga shetani wa kupigana na huduma anakujanga anatawanya watu ulikuwa umeshika laini hapo unashikwa na unaanza kuona pande ile unaona pande ile ingine unaweza na mwanaomba na itawanyoneza huyu jamaa una 
people travel, and I have no problem with traveling. People travel to Nigeria. People travel to South Africa. People travel to America. People travel to Zimbabwe, Malawi, and others travel to Uganda, just here. Others travel from those places coming to Kenya. Na unapata, some of the things we might travel to Kenya kutafuta Nigeria, tumeziacha hapa Kenya. Only that Kenyans don't have ile kwamini ule mtu mungu amekupatia. Na through that, if you were to go somewhere, auta enda hapo mahali. If we were to make it in this level, in this level, uta make katika yo level, kwa sababu ume, ume rusho rusho huku. Na kemea pepo ya kuhairisha baraka. Ninasema na kemea pepo ya kuhairisha baraka. May your blessings that were made to come to you today, let them come to you today in the name of Jesus. I am praying with somebody who is expecting some money from somewhere and there has been postponement, there has been delay, kuna kutokulipwa, kuna kupewa ma excuses, kuna kunyamaziwa, haupat message from the bank, ya kwamba kuna transaction imefanyika, I decree and anointing, transaction nazifanyike. If you believe I am a prophet of God, you better connect with me and believe God for this one. Hizo pesa ni nazifungua. Iyo payment ni nailazimisha kwa mafuta. I decree and I declare before the end of this week, utaniambia man of God, you prophesied on Monday and I was watching you online. Na ukasema hizo pesa zimekuwa zikiairishwa ziachiliwe na zimeachiliwa. In the name of Jesus, ziachiliwe. In the name of Jesus, ziachiliwe. In the name of Jesus, ziachiliwe. Somebody will be blessed so that that person may bless another person. So that that another person may bless you. Any chain, any link possible, I connect it. Let there be a flaw. Let there be a flaw. Barikiwa ili mtu mungine abarikiwe. Ndiyo abarikiwe ili yo baraka zirudi kwako. I release your blessings in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, you know there is a certain amount of money that I need. Bless somebody that is hearing the sound of my voice because they will reciprocate. They will give thanks. They will give tithes. They will do something. I pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. And it shall be so and not otherwise. This week, I rebuke every plan of the enemy. Magonjwa yale ya metengenezo ya tume kwa mihilietu. I send them back to the sender. Magonjwa yale ya natumwa kama mushale. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Nina yarudisha back to the sender. Yarudi kwenye elikuwa ya metoka. Mikosi backfiring, setbacks, kisirani, every evil calendar, every plan of evil ya kutuletea kisirani na kubackfire na kutuletea uzuni na kulalamika. Any bad plan of the enemy yenye ilikuwa imepangwa kinyume chetu, I reverse it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Makalo kifalada falasho fiara, you have already started doing something and I pray for you even before I finish this life, uh, life, life, life life service let your blessings begin to rain on you kuna magonjwa inapandangwa kwa mtu right now as i lay my hands on my head i touch your head wherever you are distance is not a barrier as i touch my head i touch yours i touch your neck i touch your shoulders i touch your chest i touch your belly i touch your heart I touch all your bones. I touch all your muscles. I touch all your body organs. I touch your blood. I touch everything that is in your life and in your body. In the name of Jesus, I command every arrow of the enemy to be fired back to the sender. Return to the sender. Arrow of infirmity. Arrow of pain. Arrow of sickness. Arrow of diseases. Fly back to the sender in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God. Somebody you are receiving divine health and a div divine healing in Jesus' name. I decree again, the plan of God concerning your life for this week must prevail in Jesus' name. Good news is coming. Good news is loading. Good news is coming. Good news is loading. Good news is coming. Good news is loading. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God.
so shall it be, for it cannot be otherwise. In Jesus' name, 